The British monarchy is used to being in the spotlight since fame has always come with being royal. Princess Beatrice, however, has managed to keep a low profile. Despite her parents' frequent tendency to make headlines, she is the daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, who have both been involved in multiple scandals for Ferguson. That's included questionable photos surfacing, massive debt, and shady cash for access deals. Meanwhile, Andrew was stripped of his royal patronages and military titles in 2022 after he was accused of sexual abuse. Thus, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Beatrice and her younger sister, Princess Eugenie, are more private. In a joint interview with British Vogue, Eugenie explained, We've had some serious grounding from our parents. They've had their fair share of terrible media interest and it makes us stronger. Still, though the princesses aren't quite as famous as their cousins Prince William and Prince Harry, the public is fascinated by their personal lives, including their romantic relationships. Beatrice's love life, in particular, has been full of unexpected twists from the moment she started dating, while she's now seemingly happily married. Some might say she's had to kiss a few frogs to find her prince. Here's Princess Beatrice's. Complete Relationship History If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOP for 1673. Princess Beatrice's first boyfriend was controversial Princess Beatrice didn't waste time making headlines for her love life since her first boyfriend was very controversial. In 2005, a then 17-year-old Beatrice began dating Paolo Liuzzo, a 24-year-old American with a criminal past. When Liuzzo was a college student at Massachusetts Holy Cross College in 2002, he was accused of manslaughter after he was involved in a drunken fistfight that resulted in the death of a teenager. His charges were eventually dropped to assault and battery, but he was placed on probation via Boston.com. Unsurprisingly, a lot of the public still criticize the usually demure and well-behaved princess for being romantically involved with an older man with a criminal record. Yet, Beatrice's mother, Sarah Ferguson, came to her defense, choosing to trust her daughter to make her own decisions. As she explained via the Belfast Telegraph, we all have our own journeys and have to learn our way, but Beatrice is a sensible girl, soon to be 18, with many friends including Paolo. You could say that Paolo didn't end up deserving Beatrice's affections, though, because she apparently took their relationship more seriously than he did. For example, he later told Daily Mail that he denied her request to meet his mother. I wasn't sure I wanted to get in that deep with B. I loved her but I wasn't in love with her. Paolo Liuzzo embarrassed Beatrice after their split Princess Beatrice's brief relationship with Paolo Liuzzo caused its fair share of damage. For one, it got Liuzzo into more legal trouble because he violated his probation to join her on a ski trip. Liuzzo had been allowed to be in the UK for work only after he was convicted in the death of a college student. Yet, once his vacation hit the press, Liuzzo had to face a judge per the New York Post. Beatrice broke up with Liuzzo soon after, but may have done it for show. A source told Daily Mail at the time, Paolo was Bia's first big crush and she still has a real soft spot for him, despite the embarrassment he has caused for both herself and her family. Unfortunately, Liuzzo wasn't done embarrassing Beatrice or her family, considering that. After their split, he told the media that he was surrounded by drugs when he once went on vacation with them to Jamaica. To make matters worse, Liuzzo admitted that he cheated on Beatrice. To via Daily Mail. Regardless, Beatrice definitely dodged a bullet, especially since in 2009, Liuzzo was arrested again, that time for possession of cocaine and fraud for fleeing a casino after not paying his bill. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSAS National Helpline at 1-800-66-HELP-4357. Prince William introduced Beatrice to Dave Clark. It's safe to say that Princess Beatrice's romantic life in her 20s was far more tame than it was in her teens. 
considering that she spent a decade dating the same guy, an American named Dave Clark. That time, her relationship wasn't as risky since her respectable cousin Prince William had seemingly vetted Clark, having been friends with him at the University of Edinburgh. In fact, it was Prince William who introduced the two in 2006, when they attended a party hosted by actor Pierce Brosnan's son, Sean Brosnan. While Beatrice and Clark kept a relatively low profile during most of their relationship, they did seem happy when spotted on vacations, having romantic dinners, and running the London Marathon together. They also continued to hang out with celebrities, since Clark had some impressive connections of his own. In 2013, for example, they went on vacation with Ashton Kutcher and Myla Kunis, with a source explaining to Us Weekly, Clark is head of relations at Virgin Galactic and that's how he met Ashton. That person also pointed out how Beatrice was really into his friend group, saying Princess Beatrice is obviously enamored by Hollywood. Beatrice's family was seemingly just as enamored with Clark because he often attended royal events, her mother, Sarah Ferguson. Even gushed to people, I call him Mr. Smiley because he smiles and he's happy. I love Dave. Princess Beatrice followed Dave Clark to the U.S. Princess Beatrice seemingly made it clear how dedicated she was to Dave Clark when she moved to the U.S. to be with him after he got a job with Uber. According to Daily Beast, Beatrice had first joined Clark in San Francisco where Uber's headquarters is, then moved with him again when his job took him to New York City, where she also found work. With these serious displays of commitment, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the public began to speculate in 2015 that they were engaged. The two not only had been together for several years by that point, but had even taken a romantic trip to ST, Bart's for New Year's, which is where Clark was rumored to have finally proposed. However, a friend of Clark shut that down for him, telling Vanity Fair, I have personally spoken with Dave. They were on holiday, but he says he didn't ask her to marry him. Clark would have had to jump through some hoops if he had proposed to Beatrice before. Princess Charlotte was born in 2015. That's because before Charlotte, Beatrice was sixth in line for the throne, which meant that they would have needed Queen Elizabeth II's permission to get married. It didn't help that Prince William may have regretted introducing Clark to Beatrice. As a source told the Daily Mail, William has always been wary of Dave. There is a clash of personalities, Princess Beatrice gave Dave Clark an ultimatum once the line of succession changed in 2015. Dave Clark no longer had to ask for the Queen's permission to marry Princess Beatrice. Yet, he still didn't propose after that, which is reportedly why the couple went on to break up a year later, a source explained to Daily Mail, after 10 years together. Beatrice and Dave had to wonder why they were not married, and decided to take time apart to reflect on the future. It was seemingly that sentiment that led to reports that Beatrice and Clark didn't actually split. But were just taking some time apart like Prince William and Kate Middleton did before they got engaged via people. Another friend made it clear, though, that those close to the couple were still very surprised by their decision. That person even admitted to Daily Beast, I always thought it was hard to see how Dave could not marry her as they had been together so long. Beatrice may have felt the same way because she apparently got fed up with Clark dragging his feet and finally did something about it. A source revealed she gave Dave an ultimatum, but it backfired because he did not ask her to marry him. With that said, it makes sense that the couple would split. But Clark quickly moving on with NBC executive Lynn Anderson must have hurt, especially considering that he proposed to her after just six months of dating. Princess Beatrice had rumored romances post-breakup Princess Beatrice was apparently not going to give up on love just because it didn't work out with Dave Clark. She was even open to being set up on a blind date just weeks after their split in 2016. A source revealed to Mail on Sunday via Yahoo. News, B went on a date with a man who arrived with flowers but was left pouring with sweat when he realized who his date was by 2018. Beatrice was said to be dating British fitness trainer James Williams after they were photographed, leaving a dinner together in Williams. Bentley, however, Williams' real girlfriend, former Bachelor star Lucinda Aragon, 
shut those rumors down by explaining that they were actually at a dinner with a group of people via the sun. Everyone else was like, we are not gonna get photographed. So James was like, I'm not going to leave her by herself. He's a very nice guy. Talk about Beatrice's love life didn't stop there. Considering that just weeks after her outing with Williams, she was romantically linked with CNBC host Wilfred Frost, who is also the son of journalist Sir David Frost.